in this video I will share you how to make anchor pendant like this and to make the alpha I'm using Corel Draw 3 the square is the size of the alpha so when I export this to PSD I will hide the line and export this to PSD but I have the file already right here when the first open the PSD uh, the file will be like this and just click the background and save this to the file I am using plain 3D to make the pendant make it polymesh first ok we lose and right here we have uh, axis view front like that I found this on a uh, Zebra Central, the link is right here. You can copy paste on the browser and then download the Axis right here, Axis plugin, and following the instruction how to get insert on your Zebras. Well, again, and divide this one, two, three, four, five. I have one million polygon right here and then import the alpha actually you import I mean because I have already on the file on zebras and then you can import this by uh, choosing the file alpha and then make it in purse make sure the square still by pressing control and uh, shift You can move by control and shift also with the spacebar click like that and then delete lower also you can delete hidden because we don't need that part and polish by picture one time to get the edges smooth now it's like this that's it We have edge slope right here. I'm going to make a 0 0.08 and the bevel I'm making 30 and the elevation I make 0 and the profile reset. like this but in this video I'm going to make a sharp so just hold and hold and uh, drag the mouse up and back again like this and click panel loop that's it right here we can clean this using deformation Polish by picture step uh, two time, and right here the back was not the same with the front. It's not uh, clean enough. So before before you uh, make symmetry, just make sure to S P pot to put this exactly in the middle of the canvas, and then go to geometry, modify topology. and delete by Z axis at that and then mirror and weld uh, by Z axis as well as like this so now clean well actually we have a, like a two polygroup like this now I'm going to make this in one polygroup by pressing Ctrl and click and Ctrl W on the one uh, polygroup. And now I'm going to make hole for the ring. Press X to get a symmetry on. 
okay, exactly in the center. This is the line of the symmetry. And symmetry off. And now drag. That's it. And control W. And shift control click on the object. On geometry. Modify and delete hidden. Okay, let's see what the display properties. So now we have hollow inside. So we're going to bridging between this edge to this edge using curve brights and drag and press shift. And then move the cursor until we have this and the other side. I'm sorry. That's it. We have the geometry. They fill in the hole. Alt to remove the I'm sorry should be stroke go function delete and then don't remove the masking yet go to the formation and polish by picture one time like that and polish one time that's it now clear the Asking back to normal like that. On my previous video, we have a continuous using wire with brass layer in. So I have already make right here this one. Uh, press F. Back to axis and front, top like that, and F1 again. Insert, create insert mesh. Hmm. Okay. To get the brass coming to you. But now we're going to make the The line okay I'm using curb strap snap. Like that. And then now change to the insert mesh. Go to stroke, mode on. Go put on right here. That's it. I'm sorry. That's it. Maybe fifty eight. It's good enough. And now going to a brass right here. Or I have already right here. Go to modifier. And then group resolution and thread well point. Also, we overlap a little bit and try. That's it. Uh, out to release. 
to clean the curb. Now back to uh, curb strap right here. And make this separate first and split by similar prop. That's it. Now the same shape. Too big. Don't worry about the set and then back to that's it to be twenty. That's it. Also split this one to similar part like that. Now we're going to mop this. I'm sorry. Rotate. And maybe the size is too big. We go to the formation and down the size a little bit. Like that. And shift control D to make a duplicate one and then rotate a little bit. And by pressing Alt, move to another like that. Also, Alt, click right here. I'm sorry. Well, enough. Now I have to make a split on this one. Split to similar part like this. Sorry, should be the hole is close first. Close hole. And then now, I'm sorry, made a mistake. So I have to weld again. 
It's a big deal, you know. I made a mistake. Should be split by part. This one. And now we can move brush. To separate and out again. Separate this. And then using pink brush to make this uh, small and out click well Thank you for watching.